a snake. Um, King Solomon's Temple, you know, I don't know, I make those connections. Uh, I'm walking in, there's to King Solomon's Temple, there's two structures. The Freemasons still have this today. Uh, you'll see you'll see it in a lot if you really look, but um, just very interesting. Um, can't believe we're here. This is amazing. Um, I'm so happy they let us walk through here, but um, still an archaeological site, but um, we'll probably be a tourist center soon, I imagine. I believe they just opened it up to the public, I think, this year, if it even is open. We were told it's not open today, but we're allowed to go in. I don't know if that means it's not open today or not open in general, but uh, absolutely amazing.
Talking to the excavator here, he talked about um, behind me there's some tons of water in this. You can see them. See them right there. That's the tops of them. That's how they find them and then they buried them. And each generation built on top. But behind me, there's one right here. There's one over there. And there's some hundreds. I think it's 10 times bigger than Gobekli Tepe, which Gobekli Tepe is 50 times bigger than what they found recently. So it's so exciting. And I asked him why they buried it. He thinks they buried it to either hide the older religions or each generation skipped. And I asked, well, were the older generations more advanced in their buildings? He said 100%. He said even with the short generation time, they got worse and worse as they went on because they built up on top of each other. But um, absolutely amazing. Uh, what are they hiding? History secrets. Why were they more advanced than us? Did they want to hide the religion? Did they bury it on purpose? Just so many questions here. Uh, so many questions of us. Where we came from. Why? Uh, that's what he was saying. 